white elephants and tuning people's horns. So, here's the deal is that when they first do it, all these are legitimate, legitimate, legitimate bullies, okay? But uh, Paulie happened to be the better actor of the bullies. And one of the producers, it was Tony Oliver, I think, and Paulie really hit it off. Rick Hunter from Robotech. And he said, this guy can really act. We don't know yet what we want to do with these bullies. We just know that the Power Rangers need to kick ass in the intergalactic world and in the high school. So they put Polly as the bully in charge. Um, then they decided the other bully could follow him as well, so they could cast him as an ugly guy with a big nose. Boom! <laughs> All right. And so Polly and I knew that our jobs were tenuous at best. And so we're like, let's just do everything we can to keep these jobs. So we improvise the hell out of everything, you know? When, when producers don't know what they want, you gotta show them. And boy, did we show them a lot. I can only imagine, after spending five minutes on stage with you, <laughs> set, it's, I mean, it must have been wonderful. All right, so now, Jason, you roll around in 2001, and you uh, auditioned for the series. What was your experience like? You know, you had all these, all these iterations to look back on already. Yeah, you know, it's really cool. I auditioned for the show the two years previous. Um, time for Time for That's right, time for it. So two years previous I auditioned for it, and I had been doing soap operas at the time, so I auditioned, didn't get it. A year later comes by, for Lightspeed, auditioned, didn't get it. And then uh, the third year, they call me back again, I'm thinking, okay, we'll go back up there and do this again, right? Um, went up there, it was a very, it was a little bit different when we started doing it, because the show had it, it really taken off. Um, the audition took, I would say, about three or four months. They brought us back five times, so it was, it was every time. Yeah, you, you would do it, and then for three weeks you do nothing. Like, ah, oh, man, let me get it again. They bring us back, so it was a very long process. Um, and even the very ending point, it was down to two red rangers and two pink rangers, and we're all in the room, ten of us, and we all know who's our competition. And uh, and they bring us in, and they like, let's see how, how we match height-wise, and. Uh, so it was a crazy process, but I remember exactly where I was when I got the role, and uh, so excited to do it, and, uh, and everything's been changed since then. That's amazing. Um, and you just finished filming the next Resident Evil, right? In Japan, tell us about that. What can you tell us? Yeah, are we have any Resident Evil fans on here? Yeah. So, um, fortunately for me, which was actually a Power Rangers help this, uh, I auditioned and did all the motion capture work for Leon Kennedy, in the Resident Evil 6 video game. Leon! Leon! Leon. Oh, man. And that was a two year job. Those video games are huge. So, not to talk video games, but then uh, they had me come back and reprise Leon again, and I spent a little over three weeks filming Resident Evil Vendetta, which I think they'll announce a Comic Con next year for uh, the animated movie next year. Spoiler! <laughs> That's no spoiler. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I could sit up here and talk to them all day, but I know you guys probably have some questions. Line up to the mics. We'll get through as many as we can. And uh, while they organize themselves, um, you two on the end, you two jokesters over there. In all seriousness, I wanted to ask you, how has the role, you know, you played a really important role that evolved over the seasons. You started off really, you know, bullying me and kind of changed into the comic relief a little bit. How has that sort of change nowadays, you probably wouldn't see that type of character in, that you played seasons one, two, part three. What are your thoughts on that? Well, uh, yeah, but bullying is out of style now, right? Bullying is like passe. And thank God, because bullying is stupid, right? Because bullies, bu you know what bullies always get? They get punched in the neck, <laughs> eventually. Yeah, that happens. So, uh, you, know, the, you know, when it comes to bullies and the Power Rangers, you know we got this new movie coming out from Lionsgate Entertainment. Right? And so everybody keeps asking, where's Bob Patel? Where's Bob Patel in the movie? And we've realized that if you remember our series, the Rangers were kind of these quintessential jock, athletic, gymnast, kind of cool kids from the school. They were the beautiful kids. And Bulk and Skull were the outsiders. When were the beautiful kids the ones that were ever bullied? Have you seen the trailer for the new movie? Yeah. Suddenly the Rangers are the troubled teams. And there is no Bulk and Skull. You know why? Well, no, it's fine, you know why? Because we said, no way. You're not using us. We're not doing your movie. Um, okay, then. <laughs> but they did hire a couple really cute mean girls 
So, Mean Girls are today what Bulk and Skull were in the 90s. So, they not see you in a dress. <laughs> I think we've all seen you in a dress multiple times. Way many times. Every Wednesday night. It's like Laverne and Shirley in the later years, anytime Bulk and Skull put on the dress. <laughs> Those legs? You want, you. you want to see our legs? Thanks. Oh, boy. Uh, it's kind of a smile. Oh, <laughs> if this was the Victorian era, this would be pornography. <laughs> so, in all seriousness, with yeah. the new trailer, I think a lot of people are really excited about the movie. Yeah. I think a lot of the fans are disappointed. More of the original cast of characters weren't brought in. But yeah, but there's, there's like a thousand of us. Where does it end? What if they have like a football game and everyone in the stands is like a former ranger? Is that what you, you, you would need four city buses to move these people to set? Alright, let's walk first, team. Kind of funny, and then I repeated you 
you, but I used the word yeah, and I repeated whatever it was you said. Oh my god, I want my mommy! Yeah, I want your mommy! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Alright, hi. Hey, how's it going? My question is for Wes. Now, can you describe your on and off screen relationship, if any, with Jen? That's oh. right. You know what, though? It's okay because she is like my little sister. Uh, we had a, a great time filming. Uh, our cast was ridiculously close. To this day, they're, they're the brothers and sisters to me. We're doing a lot of reunion shows with them. But uh, her and I have always had a brother-sister relationship, um, and, and we maintain that to this day. And she's one of my dearest and closest friends. Yeah. So I wish I had more to give you with that, but... <laughs> Thank you. Yes, hi. All right, my question is for Jason. Jason to the show, I'll tell you the truth. Jason to the show. <laughs> is this on? Is this on? Yeah. <laughs> All right, my question is for Jason and Paul. All right. Which Jason? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Sorry, Mr. Fawn. Oh, no, no. Um, when you guys did In Space, the last episode of In Space was the last time we really saw you guys together. How did you guys feel when you guys had to be separated in Lost Galaxy? Uh, sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, not really wanted to go to college, man. And he delayed going to college for like two years for me because, you know, Balkan Skull happening. And yeah. so when it was finally time for him to go, um, it was it was it was a sad kind of realization. Like, guy, we got to do this, you know. Yeah. Time to time to cut cut her strings and run. So. Well, you know, he wasted his time because that PhD is useless to you. <laughs> no, you know what? It's really good for helping you know catch the perspiration. You know, <laughs> the PC has four PhD perspiration. But you know, I know that you're grown up now and you got a job and you're probably shooting kids out like a cannon. <laughs> Boom! But, uh, but we did appear in Power Rangers Samurai, so... That was my actual second part of the question. How did you guys feel when you guys got told that you two would reunite at the very last episode of Samurai? Nobody told me. I forced them to bring him to New Zealand. <laughs> Thank you, guys. No, that's no BS, dude. Well, because, well, first of all, they wanted to, as you will see very soon in this show, they wanted to recreate characters like Bulk and Skull to be comic relief. So they tried to cast kids, but they could not find kids that could pull it off. So they asked me to come in and help them cast, and in the end they asked me to come and reprise the role of Bulk with the kid, the only kid that was actually pretty good, which was Felix, who played uh, Spike, right? So, so in, the, in the course of like nine trips to New Zealand, in first class, yes, frequent fat guy miles, rocking it. Um, I, you know, I, I kept asking, I was like, well, if you're gonna have Fatty back, you gotta have Flacco back. I mean, you can't have Gordo and no Flacco, it makes no sense. And so, so we only had two requests of, of the series. One was, for the love of Moses, bring this skinny guy back, at least for something. And the second one was, it was June 1st, we were shooting the scene with me and my samurai armor, and June 1st is my birthday. And I was like, what are you going to do with this samurai armor after we wrap this show? Nothing. You're going to throw it away or sell it. It's my birthday. I want it. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, okay. And then it costs me $50,000. I'm like, I don't care. I'm Paul Schreierich. I want it. <laughs> and so at the end of the day, it was in my dressing room. <laughs> and now my wife is like, what are you doing with this? Get out of the house. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, hi. Hi. Love this you. This question is actually for Jason Fawn. Sorry, guys. They have their time. <laughs> yes, that's okay. Right. Right, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about what your movie, The Order, is about. Yes, let's talk about that. Absolutely. Uh, it's, it's a movie starring a lot of, of Power Rangers that has nothing to do with Power Rangers. And it's, it's a group of uh, almost underground Navy SEALs, trained assassins that keep orders in the world. And something happens in there, and it falls in love with us as well, right? I kill. You kill. Uh, that turns the groups against each other. So there's a civil war of sorts with this, this, this very dynamic group of trained assassins. It's all Power Rangers, nothing to do with Power Rangers. Um, the trailer's on, if you guys know, the dash trailer. What is it? The dash, the dash order dash movie.com. Yeah. 
Yeah. And we got flowers on the table too, so that's the movie and we're, we're starting to film in January. And you should tweet that out so they can check the trailer. Yep. I'm going to make sure you do that. Thank you. Well, thank you. Great question. Bye, Logan. Bye. Thanks for the question. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what was the best pranks you pulled with your fellow actors while you were filming the series? Uh, actually acting well. <laughs> that was pretty unexpected. Shots fired! <laughs> Anytime Jason Frank was involved. Uh, we had the original cast. Because they're like they're like, you know, siblings at that point, you know, just ow, 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 action. We're gonna sing, guys! Cut! <laughs> so this is not something it was, you know, who lit my suit on fire? Hey, there's a tiger Tiger Bomb in the Ranger tiger suit. Tiger Bomb in the Ranger suits. Yeah, that was a real thing. Man, I'm gonna stand way too close to you during the shot and make you feel very uncomfortable. Maybe Joe, get away from me. <laughs> Tiger Bomb, that sounds they did horrible. That. That nasty, though, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, hi. Hi, um, as you know, I love Time Force. In fact, no offense to Bowen's Skull, I did love my hand walking. Then after that ended, well, everything in space ended, I found Time Force, I loved it. But um, Jason Fawn, how was, I have two questions if you don't mind. How was it, think about it, Jen? Not the first time, but the last time in the final episode. Yep. You know, it was, it was, uh, it was actually a truly emotional day because the show was ending. Uh, we had done our 40 episodes, so we all knew it was, it was going to end. Um, so the way that we built that whole relationship up to have her lead like that, um, it was. It was emotional because it was a family you know, essentially breaking apart. So that was a, that was a, a very fun, but very tough day for all of us. And the second question is, how did you like them seeing them again? And of course, why were for us? You know, I thought that was a great reunion episode. Uh, the way they did it, it was it was really well done. It didn't maybe answer the questions of what happened to Wes and Jen, but um, it was fun to go back and meet the cast, and that's always it's always a great time to do those. Thank you. You are awesome. The Red Ranger forever. Thank you, brother. Oh, wow. How you doing today, guys? Hello! <laughs> I'm sorry, I just gotta say, you guys look fantastic. Like, time hasn't touched you at all, goddamn. No, but Paulie has. <laughs> oh, man. Eat more donuts, kid. <laughs> I'll do, I'll, I will do. Um, uh, my question is, um, I'm a big mech guy, so I was curious, what's um, all of your uh, favorite Megazord? Oh, they're attacking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not for Marsha. Megazord. Uh, 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 which one is yours? Uh, I'm just a cop out answer, but I'm gonna say Dragonzord. Yeah, Dragonzord, that's what I was gonna say. What, a Burgosaurus? <laughs> that, that that yeah, that's your thing. Uh, okay. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Um, if you guys, if Jason Paul and Jason from 20 years ago could see what you have become today, what would they think and what would they say? Younger self looking at older self says what? My God, what happened to you? <laughs> young, young me would say, I would tell young me to just uh, keep living the dream because, you know, as long as you follow your heart, you can never go wrong, man, you know? I and don't let anyone ever tell you you can't do what you want. My high school drama teacher took me to sell insurance for his network marketing thing. And, and he was like, and I said, but I want to be a professional actor, Trevor. Mr. Best. Trevor. <laughs> and, and he said, well, when that doesn't work out, you know where to find me here on campus, so I got a great gig for you. So I saw him 10 years later at 7 Eleven. And I was like, you're an ass. <laughs> you can make $20,000 from the home. Yeah. The home. Yeah. And if I need a gig in the next few years, I'll call you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think, I mean, we were just talking about this yesterday. We are talking about, you know, 
we all know this, when, you, when you're an actor, we build sandcastles on a beach that is quickly eroding. And we always think there's going to be a day where the band starts playing for you and you have arrived. And in reality, art is like life. You enjoy the process. The process is what makes you good. It's what makes you find importance in life. It's what gives you purpose. It makes you what you are. Yeah, there is no destination. There is no destination. So that would be the advice we all would have for our younger selves. Enjoy the journey, guys, because this is it, man. This is, it doesn't get better than this particular journey. The destination, everyone has one. I agree. Right. And every, remember, everybody says it, but you can actually realize that. We talk, like you said, we talked about that. If you're a doctor, an attorney, yeah, you do get to the point where you get your and they don't have to be a PhD, right? Yeah. But that is true, it's more of a destination, but yeah, you've got to enjoy it because if you don't, uh, it, it's never really going to be there. And I think every actor would, would probably say the same. They're always looking for that next thing. Jason oh. did get the $175,000 student debt, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paying it off, but I'm enjoying the process of paying it off. The whole casting is amazing. 
Yeah. Like yeah. really. It, no, it is. It's it's yeah. it's something I'm actually super excited about. Let's go over here. Hi. Hi. First off, bulk. Veritech Fighters, Skull Squadron on the way. Second, I have two questions. One for Mr. Frank, who conveniently showed up. So your, my question is, would you like a rematch with the Mass Rider, also known as Kamen Rider Black RX? Paulie? All right! Paulie knows more about this stuff. Let's He's been in nine seasons. All right, let's roll, yeah. You know, Jason was the voice of the motorcycle on that show. I am most mechanized, right? <laughs> Anyway, um, no, I'd like a shot to see a punk, not that. Not <laughs> <laughs> My other question is for Vulcan Scully. During the pre-production for the Power Rangers Dino Supercharge, a lot of fans wanted you two to find the Ranger up and be the Aqua and Grey Power Rangers in the series. Screw that. Has <laughs> there ever been a time that you two ever wanted to Ranger up and finally become Power Rangers? No, because why would you take away the character's super objective. If you give them the donut, then they have nothing to quest for, and they are bereft of fortune. <laughs> As you say, the heroes come and go, but idiots are forever. Hi, how are you doing? Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm David, and um, I got a question for all four of you. First off, you guys are my are my heroes and my inspiration. You guys are awesome. So, what are your favorite episodes of the show? I mean, really. Favorite episodes. Yeah, uh, Wild West, West Rangers. Yeah. yeah. I like that too. That's a funny one. I like any episode that I got to wear a dress in. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to find pumps in the queen size? Oh my goodness. Jason Pons? You know what? Uh, Movie Madness was really good. Uh, we shot at Universal a lot. I was in a dress then too. <laughs> and uh, so I think Movie Madness is probably my favorite episode because they put a lot of time into that one. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Frank, how about you? I would probably say Fighting Spirit was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Now that one, now that one, I really like. I like it too, but there was no turbo in it, and all my stuff guys were different sizes, and it is me though. <laughs> shorter, taller, shorter, <laughs> taller, <laughs> group photo, I was like, can we get the same size people? Anyway, <laughs> uh, Fighting Spirit was awesome. Oh, uh, thank you guys so much. And thank hey, you. Dude, we, lo we love your mom, she's awesome. <laughs> oh, and, oh, and, well, your mom's awesome too. <laughs> Yes, hi. Hey, hey. Uh, I've been recently you're watching your show, and I'm finding more and more as an adult, I relate more to Vulcan Skull than any of the other characters, so they're my favorites. What comes to mind is, they're recently known as this like, fan film, this crazy, violent, Power Ranger fan film, where Vulcan Skull kill off Jason. I'm trying to figure out your feelings on how the Vulcan Skull go from, you know, pranks to well, on felony, how do you feel about that? <laughs> well, you kind of just answered it, didn't you? You don't. I mean, that's, that, that's, you know, uh, I don't even know where to start with Bulk that. Bulk of Skull is heroin addicts? Yeah. Look, everybody knows you don't taste your own product. <laughs> everybody knows that. Clearly they're speed feeds. I mean, look at them. You know what I'm saying? I'm all about the blow. Look at me. Yeah, I mean, here, here's my problem. Look, I love James Van Der Beek, but if you're going to spend 50 grand on a movie, why base it on someone else's IP? Your idea is better than his, or Hyams Fox. Your idea is better. Make your own characters, make your own movie, because then you're building a bridge to the 21st century, like Bill Clinton. All right, there you have it. Thank you. <laughs> yes, hi. Hi, how this question's for Tommy Oliver. So, as Tom, what's your favorite game to morph into? And also, what kind of special request you could? Could you say it's morphing time? Could you say it's morphing time? You know, the, morph, the morphing sequence, sequences were a lot more complex. It was a lot easier when we would just go, it's morphing time! Cut! <laughs> <laughs> then things got complicated. And then they said, oh, all y'all need to match together at the same time. It was like, where's just this? And it wasn't even like, boom! It was like, it's morphing time! Yes. <laughs> it was a 
casual. You know? How do we get to Earth season? Like a synchronized swing of NBA. <laughs> Same time. Well, so if you had a funky hand job, you guys are doing all kind of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you asked what favorite color was that? Favorite Ranger, favorite. As Tommy. I would probably just say Tommy was my favorite. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, green. You know, it doesn't. People are come up and they're like, hey man, I really started to hurt your feelings, man. You know, White Ranger was a lot better than the Green. I'm like, it's okay, it's me. Whoa, why would they say that? I'm happy, it's me. They said, who would win in a Green Ranger and a White Ranger fight? Me! Why <laughs> <laughs> beat yourself up? Anyway. Thank you. Yeah, Alright, we have time for a couple more questions here. Let's go over here. Um, yes, um, I'm a big fan of Bob Rangers ever since I was a little kid. Um, because it opened my eyes for more opportunities for me, and plus I'm becoming an actor. And the thing is, this question is for all of you. Um, for Vulcan Skull, um, how did you feel in Samurai when Skull actually had a kid? I don't know, it seemed like a bad idea to me. <laughs> it was very painful, I don't have birthing hips. That's how it felt. But it was rich, so that made it better. And for Jason Font, how did it feel when, um, you know, Samurai had to, you know, kill off Power Ranger? In you know, first episode? Oh, yeah. I'm like, wait, what? You know, it was, uh, well, I, I knew it was going to happen, but I knew that that would probably be big in the franchise and have the Red Ranger die in the first episode. So I knew I'd be coming back as Wes and eventually coming back as Alex. So uh, but it was pretty cool doing it because we knew we'd get a lot of, uh, get a lot of fans and a lot of talk. And for the Universal Ranger, Tommy, um, how did you, um, like, was it like confusing for you to switch like a bunch of colors and... <laughs> yeah, just, you know, it was like the, 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 sign, the, sign, the sign I rented in the hotel said, white towels, green choice. And uh, I was thinking this, probably me in the closet, deciding what I'm going to wear and what I should wear. So Bob was like, you need to wear green, now you need to wear red. You know, you know what, I've known this guy for like 25 years and he is confused. <laughs> What's your question? My challenge is great choice. Yeah, so we're going to take one more here and one more here. So, thank you. Second to last. Hello, uh, first of all, good seeing you guys again. Always, always good having you guys. Uh, my question is, for all of all you, uh, my question is, has something ever embarrassing ever happened to any of them? Have you ever been embarrassed, any of you? No, never. I don't, I don't think Paul even. <laughs> this one time when I was playing Tevia in Filler on the Roof without wearing underwear, during the my pants ripped. And then, yeah, thank you. And so all of the girls playing my daughters upstage of me were like, God! And of course, I couldn't turn around because then all of the parents would be like, If I were a naked man. <laughs> I can only imagine. All right. Thank you. Um, you know what? Let's take your question and then you'll be the last one. Okay, what do you want to say, buddy? This one's for Tommy. Hey, you're Oscar, right? Yep. Correct. <laughs> Stranger <laughs> day. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Trini. How did you think when the new blue turtle ranger was a kid? Kid? You know what? That, man, I tell you what. All these shows that I've ever done, that's like very rare question. Yeah. I just thought how cool it is to be a kid and then morph to an adult at that time. <laughs> <laughs>
Oscar is an awesome religion. Yeah, you're awesome, Peter. Last class, please speak to the Okay, simple question. What is your most favorite Ranger episode when you were on set? For all four of you. Favorite Ranger episode while you were on set that you were presumably in then? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, when you all were doing uh, my Well, we got paid on Fridays. Whatever <laughs> episode was Friday, whenever we were shooting on Friday, suddenly my attitude was better. Yeah, sorry. Hey, you guys, thanks for growing up. Thanks for watching. We love you. Yeah.